It's like, why the fuck, why the fuck we just clap and just fucking high five or something to start every episode just because it's different? So Welcome back! <laughs> think out, think out, about this tall? Over there? Yeah, I just started the episode that way, bitch. <laughs> yeah, Zayas! Why can't you fool the uh, uh, aborted fetus? Because it wasn't born yesterday! And that's how I responded to your Hitler joke. <laughs> All's fair. I don't get to do those with like JB. She gets like super uptight about certain things. Yeah. And then me and Zen, bro. Hey, bro, 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 bro. bro I'm bro. I'm a bromosexual. Come bro. We bro. actually found out bro. that uh, a double dragon. In the end, if you climb the ladder one after each other, bro. someone always puts their hand on the other one's ass. So we were told of homosexuals? Bro. Bro, 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 bro. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> this is just what happens when you say bro now. <laughs> I just realized I was completely going off camera that time. <laughs> Spatial awareness. Yeah, we're still working on that. <laughs> Wait, just next time we're gonna punch the lambs? God. <laughs> and we electrocute it and the series is over. <laughs> because you killed yourself again. Okay, um... Gibson? I asked him twice to do this over. Oh. Um, okay. Go move to the study. Move to the study. Oh, oh that was easy. <laughs> Why did you follow me? Is that a picture of Michael Nesmith on the fucking desk there? No option to look at the picture. Uh, look around the room. Wait, there's a personal computer here. Look. Hit the desk. Quite small as if it's like a city block. <laughs> yeah. uh, <laughs> I see what you did there. Wait a tick. Uh, don't you have that chess piece? Mm hmm. Share the chess piece. If you can. Okay, that's handy. Thanks. Uh, did you look at the desk party? I might as well just... I'm gonna seriously switch my ringtone to that noise now. It's very distinct. Would you not agree? It's like it's like the Zelda tune, but you less, you know, everyone their brother uses it. <coughs> Yeah. It's like the hipster Zelda tune. Except for right now, Hideo Kojima is just awesome, not the hipster. Are we fanboying? Maybe. I should uh, change my ringtones to Pokemon ringtones. I should change. I have mine currently as no. the. Uh, Undertale. I mean, the background's already freaking Asriel. Might as well go full floor on that. Oh my god. <sighs> I gave my copy to JB. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> Do whatever you want. Do something. Nope. Are you gonna persuade her again? I'm gonna use the unused option. Okay, go for it. What's the worst thing that happen? <laughs> wow, that robot is just a fucking cock blocker. He really is. Then again, G Gillian's just fucking desperate. And he's technically married. Well, separated, but still. Mayor Reed. Hey, look at this. I'm so happy you didn't fudge the pronunciation on that to dick. <laughs> hey, look at dick. Ironically, I only do that when I'm, like, annihilated. I don't know why I'm doing this. <sighs> Wow. Really? That's one hell of a stretch either way. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, it makes it makes sense, but at the same time it's just like <sighs> Did 
Doesn't look like a Commodore 64, it's a lie. If this if the thing shows full color, I swear to god. They run too hot during the summer. Snatchers, vampire like behavior is due to their desire to avoid exposure to sunlight. The reason they dislike sunlight Called it is because of fucking their blade. Of artificial skin. Long term exposure to ultraviolet rays causes overproduction of melanocytes in the epidermis. So, on that note, let's see what the fuck blade started as a comic. I'm pretty sure it's the 60s. The characteristics of melanoma. In other words, I would like to think it's the 60s. So, uh, Wait, didn't Hideo Kojima work on a Game Boy Advance game that used the sun to charge a gun? Botokai or whatever it is? Yeah. Didn't he work on that? I'll look that up after this. It started 73, so this was out, wow. 10 years at least. Yeah, look up what Look up if Kojima worked on Botokai. That sounds a little. I'm just thinking. He has a very weird obsession with sun, also. In the early games. in Snow 9, a snow-like bioengineered pollen crystal. As such, Snow um, 9 can always be detected in the places they yeah, boy there. Boy. Snow uh, 9 is an allergen, causing throat pain and sneezing. Because <laughs> I couldn't remember how to spell it, so... Slow again! <coughs> wow. I'll put an extra... Bo it's both Bakkai. And yes, it's Hideo Kojima. I had a feeling. I never played it, but I always wanted to. Well, it's pr I'm going to say this right now. It's probably one of those games we can never like ever emulate. So we'd actually have to get a Game Boy Advance, a physical copy of the game, and go outside. <laughs> go outside in Minnesota. You didn't just record it from your from your deck during the summer. I would just, you know, that trip I was talking about right now. Well, God no. I'm not getting frostbite for a game. Poor Wade. Negative 27 and comes out of the movie theater. I feel, I feel bad for anyone who comes out of a movie theater. It's like, ah, that movie is nice. Oh god, it's hell! Yes, we know. Look at the desk. Keep that freaking look at the desk. I want to see that picture of fucking Nesmet. Aha! Investigate the bottle. <laughs> wow, you go much? I totally have a picture of myself on my desk. Plato's Cavern. They are quite literally everything. It's a Doberman. So cute. Is this color of growling? It's glowing. Did I say growling again? Yeah. Fuck that bush up. The other side of that bitch. <sighs> Hit A? Or just. Okay, well, I can't shoot anything.
There we go. Oh, you dick bag. Did they really just... <sighs> Goddamn burst department. Uh, I guess head to the living room. <clears throat> Wasn't there a crow a second ago? And then he said a raven there? Yeah. Why is a raven, a raven like a writing desk? I don't know, because I'm batshit insane! Never understood that. Um... I guess just head out now. Do something. Ask a mate. That's not. <laughs> <It's> just... <clears throat> no dating sims unless we're gonna do fucking pigeon dating. Let me give you no Sakura spirits. I'm gonna draw the line there. Let's go to Alden Brown Plaza. You get some delicious. Spaghetti, whatever the hell he called it. Spaghetti. <sighs> you know the best part about being married is you never have to hear him say that. That's just fucking weird. <laughs> it's just a spaghetti. It's more not infantile. <laughs> wow. Even in the future, Nicolas Cage is making movies. Wait a second. This Christmas. Ha ha ha. Alrighty. I... <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, uh. <clears throat> if you're that. <clears throat> yeah. That screen in the background is actually having fun, it will pop up in a bit. For Plato's Cavern, the place you were. That's why I'm watching. <laughs> Self promotion! 691170. Secure the dancer! Alrighty, well, I guess that's just it for now. Okay. Oh, uh, <coughs> dial this. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Enjoy. Snake! Snake! <sighs> oh my god, give me your life story, lady. I told you, you get a kick out of that. She just kept talking. I'm surprised you didn't like, <clears throat> comment on the fact that they wrote Konami's offices in the game. Well, that just messed my baseball. It's like, uh. <laughs> okay, so just investigate everything for a while. <clears throat> Wait, what great metal, son? Oh. Eat me. <laughs> I didn't even see that.
Oh, there you go. Do it. <laughs> and now it's turned into a mating sim. We're calling a phone sex line, aren't we? Let's find out. Of course! <laughs> ah, God. <laughs> Fictional. <laughs> love or conversation? Let's just go with love, because we <clears throat> know what's going to happen. Wow. <sighs> well, now we know which one to call now. Okay. Whatever. Know. Well, we'll find it later. We'll look at it next time. <laughs> Maybe. We'll see. Like, I think there's okay. only so much phone sex I can take. Alright. Uh, look for the boy. I think you have to investigate a little more still. <clears throat> there he is. You Napoleon? Well, let's keep this short, okay? The snatcher sees me here, and I'll be the next one eliminated. <sighs> okay. Show his badge. I want to make sure you're... Well, I guess what you gotta give him now. Possessions. Use. Ask about me. God damn it. Outer Heaven was the original base for Metal Gear 1. Send your ball. Did you get the location of the club? Music games just added automatically adding the damn stuff to it. Well, give him a call. Your boy's number is? It should be in Metal Gear. Because you should save numbers you've called. I think. <coughs>
Oh, he's not answering you. Well, it's gonna get interesting. Let me see if I can. Uh, try heading to Plato's Cavern. Try calling it again. Because mm -hmm. we're going to have to stop another fucking meeting. Oops. <coughs> I'm trying to grab for your glass. That was rain. <sighs> okay, first of all, exit this, go into the store. I wonder if we can do this. Move. Hi! Okay, we're gonna leave for now. And next time we're gonna go talk to a fat fucking Asian guy again. Yep. Because, you know, that makes perfect sense. Getting back to Alton Plaza. Bye, everybody. <laughs>